In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Thanks be to God. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Then one from the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Then he spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no room to store my crops? So he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build greater and there will be there I will store all my crops and my goods. Now say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take he ease, take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then the, whose will those things be which you have provided? So is he who lays up treasures for himself and not for rich towards God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your teachings. Help us to build up treasures in heaven. In the scripture reading today, there's a little subheading to this reading, and it really says everything about the reading. Against greed and anxiety. We see anxiety at the very beginning when this person comes up and he says, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. This poor man was worried about the inheritance and who was going to get the most or whatever. And then Jesus answered him and said, Man, who made me judge or arbitrator over you? Then he gave him a warning, gave us all a warning. Take heed and beware of covetousness. For one's life does not consist of the abundance of the things he possesses. We should not be wanting more possessions. He is warning us not to be covetous, wanting more and more things bigger and better and beautiful and yes but what good is that we die like this rich man in the parable he died and all that wealth that he had what happened to it we must build up treasures in heaven through many many good works blessing people with if we have an abundance bless other people with that then build up treasures in heaven so of course the parable was about this rich man who had so much he didn't know what to do with it so Okay, let's pull down the barn, build a brand new one, a bigger and better. 
and then I'll have plenty of room to store all my goods. That night, God said, you fool. For tonight, you, your soul is required of you. Yes. And so what's going to happen to all this wealth and this treasure? It'd be probably something similar to what happened at the very beginning of this reading. But this young man came up and asked Jesus, to divide, get his brother to divide. What happens so often when people get inheritance, inheritances? Parents die and they leave all their goods to their children. How many times have you seen people fighting over money, over goods? Jesus is telling us no. We are not to do this. So is he who lays up treasure for himself. We do not do that. Our treasure should be in heaven. Yes, our treasures should be there. So we can enjoy them. Treasures of good works, of blessings, all these things are more important than building big houses, furnishing them with beautiful furniture. No. We need to go. You can't take it with you, as the saying goes. What good is a lot of money? Yes. We need money, I'm not saying we don't need money, but we only need it to sustain our lives now while we are still living. We need a roof over heads, yes. We need furniture so we can sit down a little bit, have a little bit of comfort, and food for the table to eat, that's all. So remember, the very warning at the beginning, be careful about greed and anxiety. How many of us are ex 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 have anxiety over where our next dollar is going to come from? We read in many parts of scriptures about birds, they don't worry about food because God provided for them. Build up treasures on earth? No, only fools do that. We only need what is sufficient for the day, as it says in Scripture. So, stop being greedy. And stop being anxious. That rich man was anxious because he had so much goods and he had nowhere to store them. What was going to happen to them? He was anxious. But when it was time for him to go, I urge you all to pray that this does not happen to you. Out of your abundance, bless others less fortunate, and you'll build up treasures in heaven by doing this. Every day give God the glory for all things in your lives, the many blessings you will receive by doing good to others. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.